Hi, I'm Torbjörn Wunner from Solution57 and welcome to this showcase uh, where we'll demonstrate using the robot framework for complex interaction tests between multiple Android devices and external units. Let's have a look at our test setup. We have a test PC running the robot framework amongst other things. We have a Wi-Fi router that's configurable using a web UI. And we have two Android devices connected via ADB to the test PC. One device is a Nexus 7 running Android 5.1, and the other is a Galaxy S5 running Samsung's modified Android 5.0. Let's have a look at the robot tests inside the IE for robot. I'm just going to briefly walk through the different parts of the test. At the top level, we have our test suite, Solution 57 Robot Showcase. And if we, if we expand that, we see two different test cases. The Sapper Chat S5 Nexus 7 test case and the Wi-Fi connection test for the Nexus 7. We also have a few setup and teardown keywords that defines what should happen at the start and end of the test suite, as well as the individual setup and teardowns for each test case. If we expand the external resource node, we have an Android keywords resource with uh, generic Android keywords. We have a demo settings resource that contains all the different variables that we're using in the test. We have a set of Galaxy S5 specific keywords and we have a set of uh, Nexus 7 specific keywords. For instance, the launch application keyword exists in both resources since launching an application on the Nexus 7 and S5 is different due to the custom launcher running on the S5. We have a set of Wi-Fi router keywords that enables us to configure the router. And finally, we have a set of keywords specific to the SAPL application that we'll be running in one of the tests. Let's take a closer look at the first test we'll be running, the Sapper chat test. In the XMPP chat setup, we launch the Sapper application and configure two already existing XMPP users, one on each device, and make sure that we have a connection to the server. In the actual test, one user sends a message to the other user, and the receiving side verifies that the message was correctly received. The other user then replies back to the first user, and the message is verified on the receiving side. This is repeated twice and then the test is torn down. The teardown basically clears the Sapper application data for each device so we can run the test from the same starting point again next time. Now let's try running the test. The XMPP chat setup launches the Sapper application on the Nexus 7. This takes a little while. and configures the user S57 user1 and then connects to the XMPP server. And as soon as we have a connection, the same will happen for the Galaxy S5 with the user S57 user2. As soon as the connection is made between the two clients, a chat is initiated and messages are sent across. Then the test teardown is deleting the application data on the Nexus 7. Let's speed this up a bit. And the same thing is done on the Galaxy S5. Now let's have a look at the Wi-Fi connection test. The Wi-Fi test setup uses uh, Selenium to log in to the web UI. Then we do a factory default of the router. A 5 GHz access point is configured with an SSID name and a password. And then finally, the router is rebooted to make the settings apply. The actual test then goes to the Wi-Fi settings and enables Wi-Fi, connects to the SSD that was configured, and once the connection is made, verifies that we are actually connected to the correct SSID. The test teardown closes the browser and presses home on the Android device. Let's try and see that in action as well. After logging into the router, a factory reset is made. 
this takes a little while so let's fast forward that then the 5 GHz access point named Solution57 demo is configured. And the router is reset to make the settings apply. On the Nexus 7, the Wi-Fi settings menu is opened. and Wi-Fi is toggled. Then a network connection is made to the Solution 57 demo network. And finally, the connection is verified and the test is torn down. The robot framework generates a nice test report for us that gives a quick overview of all the tests that have been executed. We see all green colors now, but if any tests had failed, this would be marked with red colors. If we look at all tests, we see the two tests that we've executed with the test documentation for each, whether the test has passed and how long time it took to execute the test. If we click on the Wi-Fi connection test, we get a test suite log that gives a detailed overview of the full test execution of the entire test suite. And for the Wi-Fi connection test, we can see all the keywords executed for this test along with the test setup and teardown.